There's so many beautiful elements to it again. Again, it really showcases Envy's like ability to do like so many amazing things. Yeah. Feel your tongue in my cheek. Listen to me as I speak. The tender words you whisper. They can sing really well. Mm. They can wrap their ass off still. Yeah. And they can hit so many different types of notes with so many different added effects below mm. the production as well. Like this is only five tracks we're getting here. I will call ebb and flow. No one goes where you go. You're a VIP inside my velvet robes. Think about me with music, if you know, like I'm always searching yeah. for uniqueness. Yeah. That's the number one thing over anything else that I look for. Mm. And this is unique. And I swear, man, being this fucked up, I don't even stop at anything. Do they have any work before this? No. Damn. And I swear, man, being this fucked up, I don't even stop at anything. Welcome. Hello there. It's a pleasure to see you people. My name is Foxtrot Charlie Alpha Kilo and here is my good friend Alex and Dallas the third pa. representing No, I always like how he like, just sits there and lets you go he just lets me do my thing yeah he just sits there real pensive <laughs> like <laughs> oh man so I thought I'd, I thought I'd emulate that you emulated you it well, man. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate I like that. Going, I, like going, <laughs> I like going my tangents. Mm. And we're here to uh, do a... Where are they from, by the way? Sydney. Sydney? Mm. I, that's right here. They're, they're Australian. Mm -hmm. uh, Imbi, the girl. The girl. I don't know anything about these artists. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard anything, like what, what, what they're... They're inspired by just nothing. I'm coming in completely fresh. Completely fresh. Can you give us uh, any sort of background? Sure. Um, Imbi um, is really kind of rooted in that kind of the real kind of blend between like neo soul and hip hop that's kind of happening right now, um, which I really really enjoy. Um, it felt like at one point they were there, just kind of doing their thing. And then suddenly the world just exploded. And like Spit Syndicate were after them. Horror Show, they were touring the Horror Show. They're on every festival lineup. Um, the demand for them is like super high. As in right worldwide now. or Australian? Australia. Wow. Um, I didn't know they had that influence. Soon though. The world. Y'all going now. Is, is anywhere a part of the world catching on to your knowledge? Not to my knowledge. No. But it's still like early days. Like it's still the first couple of years. That's crazy. So... Do you reckon I'm gonna fuck with it? Yeah, I really do. Fuck yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're doing the the For Me, is it EP, I believe? Yes. And for fuck me. yeah. Okay, let's get straight into it. Let's do it. We Jungle Beach, y'all. I long for nights on nights and could invite the urge to learn to cleanse to reach the end. And I never say no to your means. My brush will trust so much, so tender to a naked touch your complex. Extremely talented. Uh, the instrumental is so soothing. Mm. It's got like it's got a, it's got character to it. Mm -hmm. It's showcasing. Um, it just feels like the from the from the first track we're getting uh, who these artists are, man. Like yeah. Uh, and from the singing to the rapping, mm -hmm. it's just like it's so unique. Yeah. 
for me, it, it kind of feels like, uh, the way I would describe it is, it's like a calm Sunday afternoon, but there's a real kind of intention and like breadth to it. It kind of feels like I'm with my family, like say you're on a vacation, mm -hmm. but I'm not really with them. I'm kind of more with myself. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of like, it's introspective, but yeah. warm. It's like I'm reflecting on something, either be it something that's going to help me get somewhere or something that I've, I've thought about before, but I'm, yeah. meant to, I'm meant to be somewhere else or doing something else with people, but I'm by my, I don't know, it's just the feeling I get from it. Yeah. I like the interlude too because, like, usually interludes can feel cheesy. Yeah. They can feel forced. But it's more like bringing us into uh, the like, story. Yeah. Like what's happening, yeah. No, really fucking cool. I choose not to read my mail in case I fail to do my taxes. It relaxes me not to see. My heart aches for sure. Else it did, but no more. This feeling should explode. Not only feel it, but then I crazy though yeah this is my favorite this was the third single that came out uh so were all three singles on this ep yes instrumental was a bit more uh, a bit more i guess a bit more poppy this time yeah. Yeah. also yeah. the Produced keys by Hamlet. Ah. Yeah. but i wasn't huge on the hook this feeling uh, inside no i like the message but i was i didn't really like the way that it was dictated and performed it was just a little bit simple for me yeah. Like these feelings inside, these motions will swell. Yeah. These motions will swell. I just thought it was a bit, for how amazing <coughs> their uh, their flow and cadence over the rest of the track, mm. I found that when it got to the hook, it kind of just got real simple when it could have, when they, I feel like they could be challenged to do something a bit more grand or a bit more challenging. Yeah, for sure. But I think, I think maybe what they were going for was a simple call and response hook that the audience can sing along to and... I feel like that's what you're going for, that's okay, but I, I just feel like that's not what I want them to go for. Yeah. Like, I want them to just, like, sure. challenge themselves, be like, look, why don't you do something that you can still do like that for a crowd, but maybe make it work in a way that's different? Yeah, for sure. Um, I like it. It's probably my favourite song of theirs. Yeah. It's I don't just, know, besides, besides the hook, I like everything else. There's, there's something really kind of warm and fuzzy that makes me feel, like... It really it just kind of, kind of makes me feel good. It kind of feels like they're like right there behind you. Just like if you're going through something, it's like, I'm here to give you a hug. Yeah. Like, or, it's just, or it's just like, if you've got something, just like you don't need to talk about it. Like I'm here listening. Yeah. I kind of get that warm warmness from it. Yeah. I think that it's really reflective of their personality as well. This is super weird. I'm like their friend. It's very weird. Yeah. Have you, have you ever had someone who's like friends with the person that they're reviewing? What do you mean? Like have you ever had somebody on who like knows the person that you're reacting to? I think when I did Coop's music, maybe. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. Cause, cause, yeah, so yeah, I think with Coop I did. Yeah, okay, Marsh, so it's I should say. slightly less weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's weird, because, like, obviously, context, like, is everything. So, like, when you mm. talk about... It's interesting having, hearing you talk about Inby and, like, not knowing them as a person. But then... And then it is basically, basically hitting the nail on the head for, like, who they are as a person. Like, super warm, super loving, like, very, like, affectionate and well, caring. As someone who, like... Like, because Kid Cudi's one of my favorite artists, his music kind of implies that as well. Like, through his lyricism yeah. and the way that he speaks, like, he honestly just feels like he's just there for you. Hence, like, if you turn the camera, you'll see two Kid Cudi pictures right now. And a young buck. So that's, yeah, and a young buck. And a young buck, how you <laughs> So, I kind of like, that's how I can sort of understand this kind of music. For me, it's like, oh. Um, no, no, you talk. It's a chill bitch, yes. Um, for me, no, but it's interesting you say that. For me, what I really like about Swell, and what I really like about his music in general, is that there's this, there's this okayness in honesty. Do you know what I mean? Like, when they're saying, don't know what this is, or like, when they're talking about like, I don't want to feel insecure, I don't want to like, dislike myself anymore. There's an honesty to that, but there's no kind of like, it's not sad. 
Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's kind of like just being really okay with um, whoever you are. Yeah. And it's kind of like this, this is this is this is who I am. Mm. This is what I'm displaying. Yeah. And I'm absolutely fine with it. So what's really interesting about this particular track? I think I'm pretty sure I could be. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure "Swell" was the track that ended getting them onto the Transcend cover of Spotify. Um, That's huge. Yeah, and considering that Transcend is not, I don't think it's Australian. Like I think it's global. No, I think so. Yeah. I think it's a global playlist for. But that's Australia. exposure on like a whole different level. Exactly, and for like for people who might not know, Transcend is the playlist for uh, gender non-binary and gender non-conforming uh, artists. So to have it be, you know, just some showcasing that on the front is insane, which is really cool. That's fucking huge, man. Yeah. I'm fucking with this so far. It's so good. Mm. We're comfortable. That was a really nice song. Cynic. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't paying too much attention to the lyrics because I was just really focused on, mm. I guess, the production getting lost sort of in a bit. Yeah. I really love the switch up towards the end as well. The way that it sort of got taken away and it really got built back up and, mm. uh, and their vocals just hit so much more raw. Mm. Like uh, you can hear the layering of like the raspiness but also the, the higher pitchness over, over, over top of each other. Yeah, I really appreciate Acidic as a... It feels like an experiment. That's, and that's why I think it, it's kind of weird for a first single when you've heard tracks like the ones... Uh, What's the second track called? Swell. Yeah, after hearing that. Like, they're just such different comparisons for singles. There's a year between them. I guess that is a big difference, but that's like... They're, compl they're very different tracks. Like, you still get, yeah. like, I guess similar emotions in a way, but just the whole way that it's delivered. Uh, but yeah, I really, I really loved uh, the way yeah. that track was made. Super interesting hearing it in the context of the EP, and also hearing it now again. Because when I first heard it, I was, like, not that keen on it. Mm. Um, I didn't... I thought it was too much at once. And I was like, I get that they're trying to show off the range mm. and what they can do, but I feel like on one track it's too much. Was it, was, like you said they were a year apart, like do you know if all these tracks were intended for an EP? Or was it more just like over time of these tracks being made, it was just like these are meant for an EP? Like was it, do you reckon it just came together? I think it just, it feels very organic. Yeah. Like again, well, so far things have flowed well. Even in the context of this, like I mean, Acidic's grown on me. Like over the year, yeah, that it's been out, and like in the con like, like I said, in the context of the EP, it makes perfect sense. I feel the city was just it was very much like a grow in terms of like the more you listen to it, the more you just it just sort of clicked and like, everything just came together. Yeah. I feel I also feel like it's a very kind of like live dependent song, in yeah. the sense that if you can pull that off that 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 many vocal changes and that many vocal tricks, if you can pull it off live and flows, <laughs> then you've made it, and they can. I can't help it every time I think of you, my heart stops. I swear to God, it's better than when the beat, the beat drops. And all those songs I listen to on my way to work. But it doesn't matter to me, cause baby, I just want to intimately conversate with you. I don't care if it's romantic. Seems I'm drawn to you from above. It's my center of so many things Femininity and all my creativity As I know you told me once that you were with a girl And I know that we both want it but could I destroy her world? It's So why don't we have a 
conversation about conversations. Yeah, just like a really simply laid out track about it, it seemed like someone that they loved. Yeah. Or and they, they still do, of course. Yeah, and I, I really, there was really cool lyricism at the beginning where it was like, it doesn't have to be sexual, it doesn't have to be yeah. romantic. It can just be It us. can just be. It can just be. Which and there's really also different. part, it's just like, I've, I've heard you like seeing other girls, like, I would destroy their world. Yeah. <laughs> so was, just, I guess it's was laying a bear in that sort of sense. I love how sort of minimalistic a lot of the, like there was like trumpets that came in some stages. Mm. It was very, very light and really just letting their vocals do all the work for this track. Yeah, and like, it was interesting. This is the first, this is the track where I was thinking about it and thinking about like the production and kind of what production trends are happening around the world. And this is the first kind of track where I was like, this is very kind of like Matty Martians. Like I could see, I could see this being part of that wheelhouse. Mm. This particular track. There was something in the elements where I was like, this is such a kind of like internet. It was very different. That sort of sense. Actually, when yeah. I first sort of started, I actually kind of got like, like Amy Winehouse vibes a little bit. Agree, yeah. I was just like, obviously yeah. not like heaps, but like just like little essences of it. And I was like, oh, I can sort of just that with, the, with the guitar. Mm. I felt like I could hear waves, just like just yeah, from lightly yeah. lapping. That's yeah. But I love what they did with their voice on here. Absolutely, like phenomenal job. It's like just when hitting them notes, mm -hmm. like and mm -hmm. it's weird. Like sometimes they get really high, and then like on a real like <coughs> low sort of ending of it. Like really good voice control and really raw. Mm. Fuck, this is a really cool track. I fuck with that one. Say the words you whisper, insist you'll be my mister. I'll climb the mountain, reach my peak with your help. You put trust in me, oh, we'll go places, no one's ever before. Don't even need to try convince you since you know me inside out. You're a VIP inside my velvet robes. Don't need high hopes to get me where I need to go without a slow. Up. I don't even stop and think Find myself thinking always of you I'm a soul freak I knew you were trouble from the My highest high is your domain No, your eyes don't see the same But my mind can't help but claim All that's kept behind that tank frame and I swear I'll be in this fucked up, I don't even stop and think What to do, yeah And I swear I'll be in this fucked up I feel like that track and track two as well were probably the two that would, I reckon would do the most best in terms of came towards a lot of audiences and also for radio Correct Really fucking beautiful track once again. Mm. Uh, a lot of different tempos, especially towards the end there. Yeah, it felt like somebody was just like fucking with the knob a little bit. Yeah, it just kept building as well. Yeah, like it started light, got a little heavier, then it got even more heavier. Mm -hmm. uh, vocal display once again incredible. Yeah, uh, the backing layers in the background as well. Yeah, with the, the high, more high pitch falsettos compared to the, the lowerness. Mm. Uh, um, really good. I love those UK style drums, where it's like boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. Boom, 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 boom. As soon as that came in, I was just tempted to be like, I see. Just to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's such a strong song. And like, mm. listen, the VIP is the song that broke them. I can like, see why. On to like more mainstream intention. I can see why. I think if I was to listen to any of these tracks, that would be the one that would grab me the most. Mm. I feel like even the conversations probably was more powerful. Mm -hmm. That's a track that grabs you. Yeah, VIPs. There's so many beautiful elements to it. Again, again, it really showcases Envy's like ability to do like so many amazing things. Yeah, um, they can sing really well. Mm. They can wrap their ass off still. Yeah, and they can hit so many different types of notes with so many different added effects below mm. the production as well. Like this is only five tracks we're getting here. Yeah, so it's kind of like what what comes next, you know? Fuck for me, really, really solid. Do they have any work before this? No. Damn. Not how, how old are they? Um, that's a very good question, Alex. I mean, not that it matters, but no, I think... No, no, I know. I just... I like, just, just I, know how... I just realised now I don't know how old they are. Um, I've never asked. Judging from the picture, I'd say... Younger than us, for sure. Early to, early to mid-20s? That's what I would say as well. I think that's yeah. a safe bet. I've never asked. <sighs> Either way, Imbi, uh, incredible. Like I said, I only had like one 
sort of flawed out, which was just the hook on the swell, but still it's pretty damn incredible. Others, 90% of people are probably going to fuck with that shit, so that's just my take. But other than that, yeah. very impressed with your versatility, very impressed with your vocal display, very impressed with just leading your personality and your essence through your music. Uh, incredible. Really fuck with this. Really great. Really great EP. Yay. I'm glad. Um, There's always that fear where you're just like, I hope you like it. I'm straight up, man. And this was, <coughs> I'm always, and the thing about me with music, if you know, like I'm always searching yeah. for uniqueness. Yeah. That's the w number one thing over anything else that I look for. Mm. And this is unique. It's incredible. We'd have to uh, abuse you privately in message. <laughs> we jungle beats. Uh, thank you, Al. I'm a, go watch porn. I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs>